Hello Blitz fans of all ages, it's me Plumcastle, and in today's video I will be breaking down the new clan event where you can get the WT Ritter completely for free. Now of course, like I said, this is a clan event, so it's going to focus very heavily on platooning with your clan mates and as well doing your clan missions. So naturally you're going to want to be in a fairly active clan. It doesn't even necessarily have to be an amazing clan, it just has to be a clan that's willing to play a lot, and of course it's also going to take some work on your part to be able to get this tank completely for free. So the way that this event works is if we go over to the page right here, you can see that there is a progress bar for this tank. And you can see in order to progress, you need to get these things called steel ingots, of which you need 1000 of them. Now there are two ways to get steel ingots, the first of which is to platoon with a clan mate and to get a certain kind of medal. So it has to be either a brothers in arms where you both get two kills and survive or also a crucial contribution where you both get a sum total of six kills. Again, I believe you have to survive and doing this will give you a sum total of 200 ingots. Now I said 200 because there is technically a limit on how many ingots you can earn from each of these medals. So therefore when it comes to the brothers in arms, you can get a maximum of 100 ingots from it and the same goes for the crucial contribution as well. Now of course 200 is a lot less than 1000, so if this were the only way to get the steel ingots, that would be a very swift end to this event and any hopes of getting this tank completely for free. However, there are some other ways to do this, and those have to do with the clan missions that I mentioned earlier. So if we back out of the event here and go into our clan missions, you can see the stuff that we would normally expect, our clan missions. Now of course we have weekly missions and daily missions, and on top of what they would normally give you, you can see here that each of these will give you a certain number of steel ingots. And if you are diligent and you complete all of your clan missions every single week, you can get a sum total of 360 ingots. Now, of course, 360 ingots, even when we add on top of that the 200 that we could also theoretically have, that's still not enough to get to the WT Ritter completely for free, because there is actually a second part to these clan missions. Now, of course, at the top of our clan missions, we have the weekly rewards. Now, it's not super obvious at the moment, but you can actually get ingots from that. In fact, you will get the majority of your ingots from that if you are diligent enough and if your clan is diligent enough to actually get all of these rewards. Now, the number of ingots that you get is actually a little bit dependent on your server. I think this just has to do with the size of the server, so they're trying to make it easier on the slower servers and, of course, harder on the more played servers. So, in general, the very least amount of ingots that you could get is 495. Now, of course, that is the minimum you would get, and that's if you're playing on EU. If you're playing on the Asia server or the North America server, you can expect to get just a few more ingots from this. So if we add all of that up, that means on EU, if you complete all of your clan missions, you get all of the weekly rewards, and you get all of the steel ingots from the medals, you will get a total of 1,055 ingots, and considering that the WT Ritter is available for 1,000, means you will have an excess of 50. If you are on the Asia server, you can get a sum total of 1,085, which is about 30 ingots more, so that means you can do slightly less, however, you still need to make sure to be doing basically everything in the event. And then lastly, on North America, we actually have the easiest time here because we can get a sum total of 1,115 ingots, giving us a surplus of 115, which gives us a, just a little bit more leniency when it comes to doing this event. So it's not exactly the easiest event, but still definitely possible. Now, of course, you can still get the WT Ritter without getting all 1,000 of the necessary ingots, 
because if you do manage to get a minimum of 700 steel ingots, you can actually spend some gold and actually get the rest of the tank. However, you do have to at least make it to 700 steel ingots in order to do this, so it is still very much a clan event. They're just trying to allow you to be able to get the tank, even if you were super diligent, but maybe perhaps you ran out of time or something like that, so it is still possible even if you don't make it all the way to a thousand. Now when it comes to the WT Ritter itself, it's actually got some interesting statistics for it. So of course, given the size of the gun, it is basically going to be a waffle running the stock gun. So it's going to have some fairly decent damage per minute sitting at a base of 3,129. However, if you run things like provisions for your crew and gun rammer, you can actually get that well over 3,500. Uh, getting you to about 3,562, which is a lot of damage per minute. Now your alpha is sitting at about 460 for AP rounds, and your penetration is 276, so decent numbers. And your shell velocity is very, very fast at 1,200. And when it comes to the base aim time, you've got 1.81 seconds, and your dispersion is 0 0.299, basically 0 0.3, so it's a kind of middle of the road. It's not super, super inaccurate, but it's not necessarily a laser beam. Gun depression, 5 degrees, and gun elevation, 20. And when it comes to the armor of this tank, it's pretty thin. So thin, in fact, that you will probably get HE'd quite a bit if you play this tank. So I am hoping that this tank has spall liner. I haven't actually checked yet, but I would imagine that Wargaming would do so. Now, these weren't super in-depth statistics because I kind of already did that in a previous video of mine. So if you want to see more about the stats, I actually show the base statistics in a different video of mine, which I will link to either in the description or put a card in the upper right hand corner so you can find it if you're interested. But in general, these are the statistics that stick out to me the most, especially that damage per minute that can go all the way up to 3,562, like I said, so long as you are running provisions and you are also running gun rammer in your equipment. So there you go, that was the WT Ritter event and how to complete it and get the WT Ritter hopefully completely for free. And so with that, I hope you all enjoyed and as always have fun, good luck, and happy tanking.